NVIDIA just became the world's most valuable company, and it's one of the six U.S. firms worth over a trillion dollars. The Trillion Dollar Club has expanded quickly since it started six years ago, so naturally investors are turning to which companies will join next. Two firms stick out, Broadcom and Eli Lilly, but perhaps the market's getting ahead of itself. It's notable that all U.S. members of the Four Comma Club, besides NVIDIA, there's Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, Amazon.com, Meta Platforms, have an AI tailwind. Broadcom does as well. The 840 billion chip maker, among other things, makes custom chips used by tech giants to train, run trained AI programs on. And the company's shares have returned over 3,000% in the past decade, thanks to boss Hawk Tan's history of buying smaller firms, cutting costs, and raising prices. Will is the other contender, thanks to a different megatrend, treating obesity. It and rival Nova Nordisk control the market for these drugs, and the only limit on growth for the next few years is how fast they can ramp up production. The market for annual sales could exceed $100 billion a year by 2030, estimates Goldman Sachs. Yet megatrend investing obsession with financial figures is often associated with bubbly markets. Remember fiber optics and Dow 10,000 hats in 1999? Both companies' valuations also look extremely optimistic. Eli Lilly is valued at 18 times estimated revenue for next year. That's three times as high as rival Merck. Obesity is such a huge winner, moreover, that most big rivals are trying to develop competing better drugs, and drugs eventually lose patent protection. As for Broadcom, it trades at 32 times estimated earnings, that's twice its average over the past 10 years. Most of the revenue growth comes from software acquisitions rather than chips and companies that rely on acquisitions and cost-cutting often perform poorly if they grow too big. Just look at Kraft Heinz's stock performance over the past decade. The admissions committee for the Trillion Dollar Club is accepting new members, but its standards are starting to look rather indulgent. <laughs>